In that case, I use black prime as a base. And in, on the base, I use one of the texture paints, the, the one that is dark brown, to the texture on the base. So I'm going, I'm going to do quite a simple base, just a texture, and later on you will see that I will do a dry brush. This priest has a book that is on the left hand, the same hand that is holding the, the shield. This book will be painted before, before gluing and I give it a base of brown. Here you have another picture after priming the book with brown. This priest has the left foot standing on top of a rock and I use Cheridon granite as the base color for the rock. Hello, this is Victor. I'm here with a new video tutorial. This time I will show how to paint the priest that you see in that picture. So let's just start. Then I highlight the stone using downstone and administrator grey. The rest of the base is highlighted using a, a dry brush of a scrap brown. Then I apply a second dry brush with death, death cloud brown. And I start painting the actual miniature. So first I start doing the chain mail and I use iron breaker as a base color for the chain mail. For the trousers of the priest I decide to go with a brown color and I decide to use a base of XV88. And then I use corn red on the areas that you can see in the picture, mainly the sleeves. The chain mill is washed using null oil, so I follow the same procedure that I show in the video tip where I explain how to do a, cha a chain mills in a very easy way. And then I use Averland Sunset in all the parts that later on I will paint in gold. So in that case you will see that is the gorget and some of the, the tails hanging from the bell. I also use Averland Sunset on the comet that is on the shield, on the two tail comet of the shield. The cloak will be painted in white and to do this I start with a base of Rakar flesh. Here another picture of the miniature after applying Rakar flesh on all the cloak. In that case we have to take care that the cloak is also, also have some parts on the front as you can see in that picture. For the scrolls I use I decide to use Ushapti bone that is quite a yellowish white. I use the same color for the pages of the book. I use Tausep ochre on the wood that is behind on the interior part of the shield and then I use a reddish brown for the boots. Sorry but I forget to do the picture with the actual name of the paint that I use for the boots. The flesh is painted using Cadian flesh tone. Here another picture after painting the flesh and you can see also at the bottom of this picture, just at the bottom of the miniature that I also paint the hand that is holding the book. And I use this crack brown to paint the rope that is used as a belt around the waist. I also paint with this crack brown the bag that is holding from the rope and I, as you can see in the picture I also paint in yellowish color the small box that is hanging also from the rope. After that I paint with Jehenna gold all the areas that have paint, I paint before in yellow and I paint with iron breaker the hammer and the front part of the shield. Here you have a picture from the other side where you can appreciate that I paint the shield with iron breaker 
as well as the hammer. I also use Jehenna Gold to paint this small box that is hanging from the rope and I also paint the bracelets in Iron Breaker. And at that point I decide to do a wash with Agrax Air Shield all over the miniature except the flesh areas. On the flesh I only apply Agrax Air Shade around the ace and in the case of the hammer I decide not to wash the hammer because I want to give more a uh, clean color. I also decide to paint and uh, to wash with Agrax Air Shade the book but previously I paint this small rainbow in red. As I said before in the book, I also try to avoid to wash the hand with the Agrax Air Shade. And when the Agrax Air Shade, I start doing the highlights on the miniature. So I start applying its V88 mixed with Flayed One Flesh starting with a mixture where I have more XV88 and adding more and more flayed one as I start doing the higher highlights. So I also try to adjust the, the mixture in order to have a nice transition and try to smooth the transition from the highlight to the areas that are not highlighted. The scrolls and parchments are highlighted using Ushapti bone. This was the basic color but after applying the Agrax L shade they were quite dark so I need to start highlighting with the same base color. I also paint with Ushapti bone the schools, the school on the shield and the school hanging from the rope and in, when I did the wash I forgot to mention that I did not wash the white parts, so the cloak was not washed at all. Then I start highlighting the white areas and for that purpose I start applying palette witch flesh. Here you can see the cloak after applying palette witch flesh. When I did the wash I only apply a little bit of Agrax air shade on the deeper wrinkles on the deeper um, on the deeper areas of the cloak so in that case was these two wrinkles at the bottom of the cloak and around the hood and at the end I did another highlight using white scar we don't have to forget also the front part of the cloak and I use the same white scar to start painting the ace I start mixing palette witch flesh with lacquer flesh in the way that I smooth the transition from the dark color uh, on the on the deeper part of the wrinkles of the cloak and try to smooth as much as possible the transition from the highlighted areas to the shade areas. On the case of the red, I apply again the base color, so con I apply again con red on top of the highlighted areas. Here are a picture after applying the highlights on corn red and you have to take into account that I also paint the ornament on the head with iron breaker. So I use Abaddon black to paint the bracelet that I forgot to do before. Later on I will apply iron breaker and I also use Abaddon black to paint the the A's. The gold parts are then highlighted using Auric Armo Gold. So for the gold I normally use the same procedure. So I apply a yellow color, it can be Touch of Ocre or, a ye or a, the base yellow as a base for, for the gold. Then I apply Jehenna Gold. You can do a wash with Sepia or I prefer Agrax L shape and later on I do a highlights using Auric Armor Gold. In that closer picture you can see better the highlights on the gold 
and also I did this picture to show that I paint with iron breaker the bracelet that I forgot before. Using Mephisto red, I paint these two red lines at the base of the cloak. I also use Mephiston red to highlight the sleeves. To highlight the skin or the flesh, I use elf flesh. We don't have to forget to highlight also the hand that is holding the book. Then I use flayed one flesh to do a second highlight on the flesh. Here another picture after doing the highlights on the flesh. At the beginning I was not very sure how to do the the comet that the Sigma Comet that is on the shield and at the end I decide to make it also gold so I apply Gehenna's gold as a base color as usual I like to apply this color on top of yellow or ochre this was not a problem because previously I painted this on yellow and when, when Gehenna's gold was dry then I did a wash with seraphim sepia but I only did a wash on the middle parts of the flames of the comet and around and on the ring around the school. I also use the same wash to wash I also use seraphim sepia to wash the school in the middle of the comet and the school hanging from the rope. The school on the gorget is paint using rune priest steel. I use Rhinos height to make the text on the parchments and the different seals that the priest is hanging. I prefer to use Rhinos height because I think it's not contrasting too much as black. Because at the past I was using black but I, I was the feeling that the black was too strong and too much contrasted with the parchment color. Here another picture after applying Rhinos height to do the text on the different parchments, seals and scrolls that they that have the the priest. I use noon oil to do a wash on the hammer. And then I decide that the cloak has to be a little bit dirt on the base. So I for do the dirtness I opt to use powders from forge wall and then I apply first light earth from the weathering powder from forge wall to do the first layer of dirt at the base of the cloak or cape. And later on I apply medium earth to do the second layer of dirtiness and make this transition from quite dark there to more clear there at the base of the cape. So the clear mm, powders were applied completely dry on the cloak. So you take the powders this, as it is and you apply at the base of the cloak. Then I use this. I did the same with the medium earth. I take the powders completely dry and I apply at the base of the cape or cloak. And later on I apply. A little bit of water at the bottom to be sure that the extreme of the cloak is well painted with the dark color. I use Gehenna's gold to paint the two small ornaments that are holding the foam parchment on the chain mail. And as usual, then I apply Auric Armor Gold to do a little bit of highlights. This time I didn't apply the wash because the area was very small. As you can see in that picture, also in the case of the text of the books, the book, I decided to apply Reynolds height. And I also decided to highlight this this small ribbon with Mephiston red. And I used Gehenna's gold 
to make the metallic corners. And as usual, then I apply auric armor ball to do the highlights on the gold bars on the corner of this book. I use room fan steel to highlight the hammer. And to finalize, then I use Rhinox height to do the border of the base. And with that final touch, I consider that the priest is almost done. I only have to glue now the book with the left hand. And here you have the picture after gluing the book. And that's all what I want to share in that video. With that I finalize the tutorial and soon you can expect a showcase of this Sigmar priest. Let me know if you want to know in more details some of the techniques or some of the parts that I paint. I can do a small tutorial or a small painting tip in case you are more interested in any of, of these details or the techniques that I use. Also if you want to know or you are interested in tutorials of, of other miniatures or other type of miniatures please let me know and I will see if I can do the tutorial. Please like if you like it, comment and subscribe and thanks a lot for watching. See you again later. Bye!